This that will. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. What's going on, Foxes? It's your boy TKO, aka Sneaker Fox. I know it's been a while. I haven't done a review in a while, but I've been pretty busy uh, doing some other things, doing some other business ventures. But I'm going to come back uh, and start doing these reviews again. Uh, so hopefully we can be a little bit more consistent uh, as far as timing. Hopefully I can do at least once a week, once every couple weeks. But I'm going to continue to bring these sneaker reviews to y'all. So do not worry about that. Uh, all y'all who stuck around from day one, I appreciate the support. We're going to keep it going. I got a dope review for y'all. Uh, this actually is a sneaker that came from a dope weekend that I just had last weekend. Um, I went. To, I was invited uh, to New York to the Puma flagship store uh, for a private launch release. Uh, the release was uh, Sham God. If you don't know about Sham God, he is a legend when it comes to the basketball scene in New York, um, in New York City. He's from Harlem. Uh, he did his second collaboration with Puma. It's called The Legacy the Sham God. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the sneaker. Um, this is a picture I took with uh, Sham God right here. And uh, let's take a look at the sneaker. It comes in your regular black Puma Hoops box. And um, he signed the box for me. As you can see the signature right there. And uh, let's take a look at the sneaker. He actually signed both sneakers for me. And uh, as you can see here, uh, that's his uh, signature right here. Uh, both sides are the same, nothing different. So I'm just gonna look at one sneaker. Uh, as you can see, we have a black, uh, majority black upper. Then we also got the red here as well. Uh, one of the dopest, dopest, think parts of this sneaker is definitely the toe right here and I was checking out an interview that Sham God did um, about this collaboration and he said these zigzags here are his crossover uh, Sham God's known for his crossover most crossovers you know are the typical like this but he had uh, his own uh, point um, crossover where he went like this and took it to the outside went like that uh, so that zigzag is what is shown here on uh, the, the toe of the sneaker. Uh, now let's take a look on the medial side. On the medial side, we have the form strip right here. And then uh, we have Puma branding right here. And then right here, we have the Sham God. Uh, SH, it should be A here, but you got the form strip covering it. M-M-G-O-D, Sham God. And then, like I said, we got the red here. Uh, this is all leather right here. And then uh, we have the dope sole right here. And the, dope, uh, the sole is black with the white speckles. Uh, even goes on to the lateral side as well. Uh, lateral side, you got more of that zigzag uh, feature uh, right here as well. Uh, and in that same interview, he said uh, this sole is supposed to represent uh, the gritty streets of New York. Uh, then going down further on the midsole, we have this uh, white midsole here as well. And then we have the red and, I'm sorry, black, and then red here as well. And uh, taking a look on the outsole, same patterns, uh, it has that zigzag as well. Uh, these are super, super, super comfortable. I uh, definitely would recommend you guys come. These are real comfortable. I'm actually now Definitely interested in actually getting more legacies uh, after this sneaker right here. Uh, on the tongue, uh, we have the initials, uh, God, Sham God, right here, GS on the initials. Another real, real dope feature. I'm gonna get this other sneaker uh, since these are loose. And um, it's actually Sham God's crossover move. And he actually shows you it's four shots of um, how he does the, the crossover. Unfortunately, I don't want to take out, I want to take out the insole, but it's really stuck in there and it's going to rip. And that's the last thing I want to do. 
Uh, so we're going to take a look here and see if we can see it good. Okay, so you should be able to see uh, the moves there. You see uh, the first picture is the start. Uh, second picture, he's going one way. Third picture, that's where you see I told you he cuffs it to go the opposite way. And then the last picture, the fourth picture, is a completion of the, the crossover. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, these actually uh, are available right now. Uh, you can go to Puma.com. Uh, you can go to Jimmy Jazz as well. Um, I know that Jimmy Jazz in New York has them. Whether the Jimmy Jazz stores outside of New York have them, I don't know. Uh, but you can go to JimmyJazz.com and pick these up. Uh, and then also, if you are in New York, you can stop by the Puma flagship store and they will definitely have these available. And they actually also have the white ones that came out uh, last year. He did drop some white version of these as well. Uh, they're sold out everywhere else. So the Puma flagship store in New York are the only stores that have them. So make sure uh, you follow me on uh, Instagram at Sneaker Fox Sneaker Watch. Remember to follow at Sneaker Fox Sneaker Watch. You can also follow my personal page at The Real Sneaker Fox. At The Real Sneaker Fox. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think about these sneakers. Did you cop? Are you thinking about copping? I definitely advise you to definitely go ahead and pick these up. These are dope, dope, dope. And uh, these are definitely a candidate for end of the year top 10 Pumas of 2021. So once again, I appreciate everybody's support. Appreciate your patience with me. And you take care and be blessed. I'm out. It's that will. It's that will.